afternoon YouTube. I have been away for a couple of days, so I haven't actually seen the changeover, well not changeover, uh, the, the new month come in, so I left a dummy load on because I've been away for a couple of days and basically um, just take some charge out of the battery to see what we actually come to. Um, and basically, uh, today being the end of the 1st of May, we have pulled 35 kilowatt hours out of the bank. 29 uh, from PV1, 6.5 from PV2, so 36.3 kilowatts going in. And I'm over the moon. It's done its job. It's I keep forgetting to zoom out. Um, it's done its job. It's, it's done what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to prove that bad cells can operate uh, with a certain amount of success. We're still waiting a proper failure of a cell, you know, a cell to go bad and start pulling them out of balance. Not 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 particularly a a sort of uh, you could say like an explosive event where one cell goes bad and pops a fuse. So it's doing well. Uh, and I have uh, a new filing cabinet that I um, commandeered from a. Well, it's going in a skip. It's uh, needs a bit of work. Um, I haven't put the drawers back in properly, so they catch. Um, but without going into too much detail, I've stripped about 170 odd cells so far charged them and discharged them and charged them back up and then obviously had to go away for the weekend uh, and this is the dead pile the dead pile is 20 completely dead and 6 which got hot under charging and they're all from the same pack uh, we've got some obscure cells within the bunch uh, so far and they seem quite common I have had quite a few sort of 16, 670s unbranded unbranded let's see that's number 168 I lost my silver pen. So yeah, so we've had quite a few unbranded cells, but purple, purple unbranded cells uh, of the 16670 variety. So if anyone knows what the spec is on them, and I have others to come, uh, we will sort of trundle through them. I think 200 at a time. I can't get to the bottom drawer. The bottom drawer's got um, some batteries in. Uh, so yeah, this update for the end of and or the beginning of May is uh, we've been quite successful with the the use of these uh, duff cells. Uh, there is uh, sort of ten or so above two amp hour in there, um, but the majority being duff. It has done its job. I am quite thrilled. Uh, I'm going to swap the settings over to LCO now, and uh, continue into May with uh, trying to install. Uh, possibly some of the uh, worst off cells from the, the the whole bunch that I I received so we'll be doing that and adding more bad cells in uh, saving the good cells for the final build and uh, seeing what sort of maximum power we can draw from the uh, 680 watt panels that we have on this system um, I've got to redo the roof so the roof is delaying the um, the, the installation or, or the purchase of new panels uh, which we'll have to do at some point if we want to start putting more power. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. It's performing well. It's performing as well as the day I actually in turned it on. Uh, maybe a bit more so now we've added the extra two 80 amp panel, uh, 80 watt panels on the other side. But yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, put them in the comments. Uh, it does look a bit rough, but hey, this is the precursor to the final build. Um, and if anyone in the UK knows of any other cells that are going for free or cheap, then uh, let us know and uh, I might be able to squeeze a bit more money into this project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.